Hey crafters, Big D here, and this week we are making military style large tents. Not pup tents, but the kind of tents you would see in a HQ setting or a uh, supply setting. Um, you could use these tents for military, you could paint them a different color and they could just be used as um, like a traveling group for a D&D setting or like gypsy tents for an encampment or you know your barbarians encampment. I mean you could use them for a lot of different things. Um, I'm specifically painting mine to look like military tents. I'm doing these for my series of modern and uh, zombie apocalypse stuff. So uh, these are really simple. You just need some basic supplies. Um, let's hit the table. All right, crafters. So we're making tents. And so the first thing we need is our framework. So for that, we're getting some heavy gauge wire. Um, this is baling wire, it's galvanized steel, uh, it's pretty strong, um, it'll do exactly what we need it to do, uh, so we want to get some of this, it comes in coils, we want to straighten out the piece we're going to do so they're as straight as we can get them, and we're going to cut three pieces, seven inches. So now that we've got our three, we're going to go to an inch and a half and we're just going to grab a pair of pliers and grip it right at that inch and a half mark and we're going to make a hard bend. And then we're going to do the same thing to the other side. Okay, two hard bends. Now we're going to take this just over three and a half. We're going to find that center point and we're going to put a gentle bend there so that we have our tent shape. And so we're gonna do we're gonna make three of these. You need three for each tent you're gonna make. So I'm gonna do two more and then we'll come back. Alright, crafters. Now just so it's clear, once you've bent them into these tent shapes, you want them to be about three and a half inches wide. So you may need to adjust your measurements or your bends a little bit. Your measurements are fine, but your bends have to adjust a little bit just because you want them to be one side to be on one mark and the next mark over three and a half inches all right so when you got three of them you'll have you'll be able to make your tent with that so the second thing you're going to do is you're going to get your basic material now i got some extruded pvc and i've got these squares and i just cut it out this is about four inches wide and about five and a half inches long. So you're gonna mark out after you've rubbed down your corners and you know unrounded it makes it nice and flat. You're gonna mark holes that are three and a half inches apart in three sets. You want it to be about four inches long, maybe a little wider, maybe a little longer. So four and a half inches. So you're gonna have three and a half inches wide and four and a half inches long. So you're gonna put a set here, a set here, and then a set in the middle of holes. that are gonna be just big enough to put these into. So the first thing you wanna do is round your corners and then mark this up. Okay, so now all I'm doing to drill out my holes is I'm just taking the X-Acto and I've got my lines marked and I'm just taking the X-Acto and I'm just spinning it like a pin drill in the place that I want 
to fit this wire. And as soon as the hole is good enough to fit the wire, then the hole is good enough. So we're going to go here and all six of these points. All right. All right. We got our six holes. Now, let me grab the super glue. And we're going to put our tense pieces in place. Okay, so we've got our piece here, and we've got it sitting on a piece of cardboard just because we don't want to accidentally super glue it to our mat underneath. And we're just taking a little bit of gel super glue, and we're just going to put Okay, and now we just need to let it dry. While you're letting it dry, you want to plug in your hot glue gun and get that ready. And you're going to want to get some shish kebab skewers for the front tent pole and the back tent pole. So let's get the hot glue gun plugged in and get that stick and we'll be right back. Okay, so we have our three uprights and they're nicely firmly in place. This is a nice permanent fixture. So next we're just going to cut a couple of uprights to represent the upright tent poles. You're going to put a little blob of gel super glue in the end. You're going to put it down and put it up against the wire. And then just a tiny amount of glue just enough to firmly attach it and again same deal here. And let that set. So now we have our pegs in place and we're going to do some basing. And the reason we're doing the basing now is because we're going to put the tent on over everything, but so we're not going to be able to easily paint the inside of the tent. Now, the sand we're pouring is actually play sand, not construction sand, because we really don't want a bunch of rough aggregate in here. So this is sifted sand. Let's go let that dry. All right, crafters. So here we are. We're nice and base coated. We're dry, we're gridded. We don't need to brush it or anything because we're gonna put some flock on it, but it's it's gonna look good the way it is. So we've got our piece here and this is nice and solid. So we're gonna take some dried baby wipes and we're gonna cut a piece just wider than this and just taller than that. So we're talking four and a half inches wide and three inches tall. got our piece and then we're going to trim off just the tips of the corners so we don't have too much excess and then lastly we're going to find the middle point in our piece and we're going to cut a slit one and a half inches tall We're gonna take these corners and we're gonna just take a little tiny spot. You can take a spot of hot glue or a tiny spat of super glue. And you're just gonna put it there and you're gonna bring it up, pin it. So it looks like the folded up tent flap. All right, 
So now we got that. So the next step, get a container, put it in there, and you're going to put in some 50-50 of water and Mod Podge. I'm just going to flood it. And you're just going to take it and drape it on and drape it around. well. And let this start to dry. And you're gonna you can get rid of the excess. But the nice thing is is that all this is gonna do is firm this all up. Okay so now we have our front and our back on. We're gonna take the main part of our tent, which is again the same thing, that the baby sheet, but we are going to cut it so it's just over seven inches long, and it's just about a half inch wider than the front to back. Now it may shrink a little, so you might want to give yourself a little extra space. I went to five inches just in case, but if it's too wide, you can always trim it back. But then just lay it right over. Now as you can see when it got wet here it stretched a little it's a little longer than I want. So one of the things you can do to minimize your work pull it up And that way you only have to trim one side. And the nice thing about the canvas, you can just kind of roll it and it'll look like they just rolled back the canvas. All right. And you're already seeing that tent shape. That is gonna be really, really cool. So just let that dry. Now, at the suggestion of both the Kender and my wife, I have made a second one of these, but instead of putting on the front and back first and then the top, we put the top on first and then we put on the front and back. So we're gonna get this both to completion and make them both look great and when they're dried out we'll get them painted up we'll show you how we're painting them and then we'll let you decide which way you want to do them. still the exact same way it's just instead of putting that on first we put the top on first and it does look to blend a little better so maybe that's the way I'll do it from now on so let these dry again same deal and uh, give them give them let them rest overnight and then tomorrow we'll come back and put some paint on them Okay, so here we are. Dried overnight. Nice and hard, nice and ready to go. And I really don't see much difference between the two. I think both of them look really good. So I think you can put them on in either order and it looks just fine. So now we're just going to get an olive green and we're going to turn these bad boys green and uh, we'll come back and see what the finished product looks like. Alrighty, so here we go. We've got our stuff nice and hard. We gave it a spray of olive green. And this is what we have at this point. Two command tents. 
These look really good. They're nice and firm, nice and hard. So now we're gonna give the base a little bit more attention. We have a little bit of overspray uh, in a couple different directions. So we're just gonna take some chocolate brown and just kind of touch up where we have overspray onto our dirt. Now you'll notice I'm not going crazy trying to make sure it's a perfect coat. What I'm trying to do is just cover up anything that's green with brown and having maybe some of the darker brown poke through and that'll just look like different variations on dirt. Alright, so now we got that done, we're going to now take some black and we're going to cover up these tent poles. Alright then, with our ground brown and our tent poles black, we're now going to do one of the final steps in the actual paint job, and that's we're taking a very dark brown black wash. It's one part black to two parts brown wash and we're just going to kind of give everything kind of a rub down but we're not going to let it sit down we're going to streak it so we're going to go with the direction of the tent and we're just kind of dirtying it up
And then, just because we don't want it to pull too much, we're just gonna gently rub down the cloth with a piece of paper towel. So we want to show our texture. But we don't want that black, that dark brown to undo that lovely layering of color we've got in there. So I'll do the same thing this one here. And here we go. Couple of figures for scale. We got our two tents done. They're both dried. Uh, they got a nice uh, matte clear coat on them, although I think it might be a little still tacky on them because they're showing a little shiny, but I mean, they look good. Uh, muddy base around those tents where they're putting them up. Place for your military situation or whatever it is you got going on. There's store supplies, command, radio, nice objective for. Uh, World War II wargaming or you know modern day role playing there's a lot of stuff you can do with these so there you go epic your board gamers game on <laughs>